earthquake. Boom! I mean, this is a powerful Yellowstone. I've been telling you about this. I've been warning you guys now for what? Three weeks? Four weeks? Yellowstone, something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. The super volcano at Yellowstone National Park has awoken. There's no question. This is a very rare powerful quake. A 5.8 magnitude earthquake struck western Montana, um, briefly plunging a town into darkness and a powerful enough to knock down shelves, break the glass, and do other destructive damage to with, within homes and buildings. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, it was the largest earthquake in western Montana in over 20 years. According to the USGS uh, geophysicist Robert Sanders. It's not impossible, but it is very rare event, says Sanders. Well, they're really playing this down by using the word rare. Folks, Yellowstone is, it had 900 earthquakes in a two-week period, including a 4.6 three weeks ago. This thing's not over. Now you have a 5.8. The earthquake was felt as far away as Spokane, Washington, Boise, Idaho. I'm going to be there in a few weeks for the signs in the heavens. Well, we might, we're going to be in the signs of the heavens conference looking at the solar eclipse. We might want to look at the signs under our feet as the earth is shaking and quaking. The devil's back is breaking. My mind is aching. And we're not faking, folks. We're in the last days. Matter of fact, they felt it in Spokane, Washington, Boise, Idaho, Calgary, Canada, and more than 10,000 people reported feeling the earthquake with the people closest to the epicenter reporting a shaking as strong as the an intensity would be of a level eight, capable of causing sufficient damage. Matter of fact, there's been no early reports as of now, of severe damage, but there has been some minor damage throughout the area, and the reports are still coming in. It's still too early as we're trying to get our hands around this, folks. There's been a ton of aftershocks. Now, here's something else I got to throw at you. Besides this earthquake at Yellowstone, we had just before that a powerful 6.5 earthquake that, um, I mean, excuse me, just after that, we had a 6.5 earthquake that hit in the Philippines. But let me just tell you a little bit about the Montana, Lincoln, Montana, 5.8. It was only 13.6 kilometers deep, so very shallow. That's why it really did some rumbling. And then we had a 4.9 Montana, 5.1 Japan, 3.1 Lincoln, Montana, 3.5, 3.8, 4.5, 3.9, 3.5, all in Lincoln, Montana, Yellowstone, and that super volcano is rumbling, there's no question, and 4.3 earthquake hit Santa Cruz, Chile, then 4.4, 3.9, again, Lincoln, Montana, and then boom, boom, I'm talking a major 6.5 earthquake has hit the Philippines, and it was only 6.5 kilometers deep. We're still waiting, as this is fr just, just happened, we're still waiting on how much damage this caused. As there's no question it did cause damage. Too big, way too shallow. Then we had a 2.5 in Oklahoma, 5.2 in Vanuatu, 2.9 again in Lincoln, Montana, 4.6, here comes the aftershocks in the Philippines, 2.7 Alaska, 3.4, 2.9, 2.5, all at the Yellowstone there, Montana and Lincoln, Montana, 2.7 Alaska, 4.5 the Solomon Islands, 3.6 Lincoln, Montana, and we just had minutes ago, 4.7 in the Fiji Islands. So the earth is definitely shaking and quaking. The devil's back is breaking. Now, I'll be back with, uh, I'm going to do some more research on the Philippines. Certainly, Yellowstone, there's no question, Lincoln, Montana is shaken. Lincoln, Montana is shaken. And we're going to keep a close eye on Yellowstone, the supervolcano, what's going on there. But also, 
what's happening in the Philippines with this big 6.5. Both these quakes, 5.8 Lincoln, Montana, very shallow at 13.6 kilometers, and then a 6.5 mega, mega quake there in the Philippines and only 6.5 kilometers deep. This is dangerous. Meanwhile, President Donald Trump has just arrived in Germany, getting ready to meet for the G20 summit after a very powerful speech uh, in Poland where he stood up for Western values. He stood up for the Western allies. He stood in the face of any oppression that might any danger could ever be even thought of coming from Russia. He proved to the Polish people the United States will be there. It was a very, a very powerful speech, and he, and, he, and he just showed how God has his hand on Poland. I think it was powerful. I'll be right back, folks. We're in the last days. Don't miss today's live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern. I don't know what's going to happen. We've got so much to discuss. It's happening so quickly. This will be a great show. Don't miss it. My website at publiclyprophecy